Hi, I'm Michael Murata, and you're watching What Would Michael Do? Today's topic is wedding photographs, or how to properly photograph a wedding. I attended a wedding this weekend, and I couldn't help myself in realizing an absolutely spontaneous What Would Michael Do? moment. I should preface this little story by explaining that as a child, I was fascinated by wedding photographs, especially my own parents. I was raised by blue collar, hardworking folks, but they had a very prominently displayed wedding photograph where they looked like a king and a queen or a prince and a princess. And in And in every one of these photographs of my parents on their wedding day, or my aunts and uncles, or my parents' friends, there was one constant. The woman's gown was so beautifully displayed. The train was always laid out before them. And there was something rather majestic about it. And I loved walking into that world in my mind and being a part of it. It was kind of a thrill as a kid. So, as an adult, that thing just never left me. That image never left me. And so that brings me to the story of the day. I was at this wedding and I stood by watching a photographer, a very high-end photographer, shoot a very high-end wedding with a very beautiful bride. And she stood there with families, with bridesmaids, with ushers, with the whole bridal party in an absolutely straight column dress. And I thought, there must be a train behind that dress. And when I saw that there was one, I just couldn't help myself. I just pushed myself in, I grabbed her train, I fluffed it out, and for the rest of the day, every photograph had that train displayed, as it should be. The bride herself said, wow. <laughs> Why doesn't the photographer know that? Why doesn't the maid of honor know that? Why doesn't the attendant know that? Well, now you know it too. When you're shooting a bride, feature the train. That's what it's there for. So for your own future and the memory of your children and their grandchildren and their children after that, feature the bride's train. Somebody will remember it. Someone will take notice. And one more thing, never let a beautiful bouquet go to waste. I never leave a wedding without taking home some beautiful flowers. That's what Michael would do. <laughs> That's what Michael would do.